So hello everyone, my name is Ravindra. In this video, we will see how to convert CSV file by using Power Automate to the SharePoint list. Okay. So we, we are sending the CSV file data by using the Power Automate to the SharePoint list. Okay. Uh, this is, we will also do in the fastest way. Okay. And also without the premium connector. And also all the patching of columns is done by dynamically. So this is my CSV file. Okay. I will show to you. So in this SharePoint, in this CSV file, you can be see I have different columns, okay, and some columns are empty as well, okay. So in the Power Automate, I created a simple CSV SharePoint list, give a name to that, title, column one, and column three, okay. I just patching the uh, three columns, okay, for demonstrating to you, you can be do other as well, okay. So let's we jump to the Power Automate. So first I have taken the manual trigger and get the file content. Okay. I will show you how to get this type get file. Okay. You can be seen from here. I just select your file root and scroll it down. So in my case, CSV to Excel. Okay. So this step you achieve up to this. Okay. After that, uh, just add one compose here. Compose. In compose. Just press the enter of your keyboard and change the name. Okay, like this. Change the name of this compose to the new line. Or if you, this is done. Okay. This step. After that, what we have to do? We have to do the split. Okay. So in the split, uh, simply add one more compose action here. Okay. Go. Add compose. In the compose, just go to the expression type split. Okay. So what basically split function does here? Okay. So split in the our CSV file. Okay. If you see our data is present in the comma separated form. Okay. So uh, by using split function, we are just uh, split, splitting that values into the table format on the basis of commas okay so we take the output here of our get file content okay get file content after that will you comma and output of our new line okay just click on the okay so you can be see here same function uh, formula i have added here okay so I just delete this step also and this also. After that, we will use apply to each. Okay. In apply to each, what you have to do in our CSV file. Okay. If you see in first line, we have the all the headers. Okay. So to remove that simply in Power Automate, we have a skip function. Okay. So skip function is used to skip the object or the number of line from the above means by using skip function we can be remove this line okay in simple language so here i have written skip output of our split line okay after that one just i retype this skip skip just do the brackets I go to the dynamic content split by new line do comma click one and just click update so you can be see or uh, in apply to which we are given the output here okay so after that we have to create an item in our sharepoint list okay so um what we have to do simply we have to use a expression here okay just add a create item action from here you can be see create item. select the sharepoint list okay give your sharepoint site address in my case i have the power platform list name we go and select the csv to sharepoint okay after that uh, title okay in the title just go to the expression use here split okay in our case we want the value from the first column in this okay so in the power automate okay all the indexes are start from zero okay so this is zeroth column this is first and this is second 
second okay so same we are uh, doing here okay so here we type the zero i just copy this and just click okay so column two we go to the expressions just control v and just uh, remove this and paste do the one okay and click on okay same for here here we do two and just click on okay so i just delete this step okay for now and let's see our flow is working correct or not okay so this is a all three are the text columns okay and let's go in the power automate let's save it we will delete this step not required test manually save and test run the flow click on the done so our flow run is uh, flow is run successfully okay also uh, how to it takes some time okay in my case you can be see it is in zero seconds is run okay so what you have to do in apply to each go to these three dots go to the settings okay turn on the concurrency control and just increase the speed to the 50 okay just increase the speed that's all friends for today if you have any questions okay you can be told to me okay and uh, for uh, today you have keep learning keep growing keep exploring if you have some suggestions for me you can be provided in the comment box or you can be also connect with me on the different platform you can there also you can be provided provide okay suggestions are always welcome and i try to improve on that and uh, um, make uh, myself better and better every day that's all friends thank you have a nice day